On our last day in the UP, we drove up the Keweenaw Peninsula and found a great boondocking spot in Copper Harbor. It was initially home to the Ojibwa people who lived there for thousands of years before the Europeans came to North America. The Keweenaw Peninsula projects into Lake Superior and was the site of the first copper boom in the United States. Average snowfall is about 220 inches. Copper Harbor is very remote, so if you're looking for strip malls, water parks, Holiday Inns or McDonald's, this is probably not the place for you. But if you're looking for beautiful shorelines and fresh air, wilderness and trails and hiking and adventure, Copper Harbor is definitely a place you'll appreciate to visit. Wisconsin, now Minnesota. This is the very end, the very far west end of Lake Superior. You see a freighter way out there. Uh, when you're traveling, you got to expect the unexpected. Um, we left yesterday morning, uh, Michigan, North Dakota, heading towards Montana, and uh, we broke down. A turbo hose broke on our turbocharger, and uh, we stopped at a repair shop here in Lakota, North Dakota. A mechanic had to get a part overnighted, a couple turbo hoses. Once they come in this morning, he's gonna let us know. His shop's actually right behind me there, that big building. He's got this campground that he put us up in overnight, free of charge. We had water hookups. It's not the prettiest campground, but it does for a short time. Anyways, he's gonna let us know as soon as the park comes in. Uh, shouldn't take him long to put the hose on and hopefully we'll be back on the road.
down Highway 1 towards 94. There's not much traffic. sunflowers we've ever seen hundreds as far as you can see goes back as far as you can see look these ones are already got the black in them wow We found this sweet spot to boondock for the night. Sweetbriar Reservoir is located just a few miles west of Bismarck off of I-94 at exit 134. There are multiple campsites located around the lake. Another magnificent spot for the night. Just west of Bismarck, North Dakota. Some geese. Coming in for the night. Free camping spots are all over America. There's some pallets over there, so I busted them up and I'm making a fire. Just had some chicken tacos for dinner. Hey, there are the boys. Hi, boys. Hi. Hi, bud. Hey, cutie, what do you think? That's awesome, beautiful spot. Another awesome, beautiful spot. Another winner, huh? Yes. Wow. Got a little picnic shelter there. Some pit toilets. How many days can you stay here for free? I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it was like 15 days. 10 or 15, I think. 10 or 15. The boys are happy to be parked for the night. <laughs> what do you think, Bubby? Huh? Uh, Hi. He said, I like it. I like do you it. You like it, kid? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. <coughs> Come hey, here. buddy, come here. Come here. Come here, pal. <laughs> buddy likes to chase his tail when he gets out of the, out of the truck. Silly buddy. Hey, yep, hey. it's a pretty nice spot. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? So glad to be here. We drove about four, maybe four and a half hours today. What a nice way to end the day. We were amazed to see uh, pelicans on the lake this morning, especially being in North Dakota. Uh, apparently they fly hundreds of miles from the West Coast area to North Dakota, uh, I guess to have babies and see it, but there's more over along that coastline. But right in the center of the screen, there's a pelican. There's probably a dozen out here total. Yep. We broke camp. Nice night last night. Heading to the west. As you can see, Buddy doesn't like this too much. What a great free camping spot.
piece on the post going in. The other day we were in a town called Michigan, North Dakota, and uh, we had to pull over to a mechanic shop. Um, we had a problem with our turbo. Uh, he ordered some parts and we were able to get going the next day. Um, breakdowns are never fun, but unfortunately we're in Montana now and uh, we're broke down again, just two days later. Uh, we're about, about 90 miles west of Billings, Montana. So we have a wrecker coming to pick us up, but for some reason the transmission uh, quit working. Uh, so we were a little frustrated. We're keeping our fingers crossed that it's nothing major, but I guess that's life on the road. When you have a vehicle and you're traveling, expect the unexpected. Very frustrated but we're safe. We've got emergency money to pay for the repair and uh, keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully it's nothing major. Very disappointing. This is our current view. What's that? Buddy's not disappointed. He's glad we're not driving. Uh, yeah, Buddy's not disappointed. You see him back there. He doesn't like... He doesn't like traveling too much. <laughs> We're trying to keep a smile on our face and stay positive. Hey, That's all we can do. Stay positive. Ginger's drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We'll keep you posted. We made it to Billings the hard way. <laughs> 